Hi friends, now welcome back and now I would be focusing more on um, you know introducing to you what we I call it as the different types of logic. Now first and first of all let us understand how many types of logics are there so that I can proceed further. Now here we have seen that um, you know first and for, uh, foremost is the syllogistic logic, propositional logic and trust me I have enjoyed learning all these things. Uh, it requires little bit of patience and interest and you would be learning these things and you can incorporate in your own academic writings also so logistic logic propositional logic predicate logic model logic informal uh, reasoning and dialectic logic mathematical logic philosophical logic computational logic and non-classical logic introduce gives you a very good introduction to what we call it as the fuzzy logic and we will see all these things and trust me in case you have uh, not understood the first part understanding fuzzy logic which is the end part of it is not going to be helpful so this is the sequence in which i have learned and not just me anybody who is uh, given exposure to the domain of logic will definitely understand that yes this is the manner in which so um, in short i would say that we start off with propositional logic entered into symbolic logic then go for the boolean logic and ultimately we end into what we call it as the fuzzy logic and i'll show you to you why this particular movement has come in and how it is closely related to the research also syllogistic uh, logic to be very honest is also called as a categorical logic it was introduced by aristotle and it is uh, especially used in artificial intelligence and legal argument or the litigation processes while the uh, judge or the lawyer is preparing their notes so that's a short introduction to uh, syllogistic logic though we would be entering more into depth of it later on as a separate part next one is the propositional logic it is also called the propositional calculus sentential calculus logical connectors and formal logical system so this is very important one and we will study how to groom and um, you know train uh, discipline our own minds uh, to understand how the logic is functioning to us the next one is the predicate logic which is used in symbolic formal system and later on this has also been um, I should say divided into or classified into many areas like first order logic second order logic many sorted logic and infinitary uh, logic also and here we would be getting introduced to what I call it as the universal and the existential quantifiers and one may use it even for the critical studies or critical thinking or critical reasoning and then we will have to understand how to differentiate between categorical predicate logic also side by side and once you understand you have taken care of it model logic is um a very important one as part of the discussions i should say and here we will see later on that yes this was uh, basically introduced uh, chronologically uh, later on in the history part of it and here i have seen that a uh, majority of them um, have been introduced as the phenomena that um, you know focuses exclusively on the sentences and once we divide that particular sentences you are able to understand the model logic and this has to do with the grammar portion of it especially with the uh, verbs or what we call it as the model particles and we will see later on how important it is now here we can get introduced to deontic logic epistemic logic temporal logic uh, semantic computational and dynamic logic now i'm not going to introduce to you more than this however yes as uh, the time passes with the other kind of a thing i would be focusing more and more about it then we have got the dialectic logic here you will see that it is again used more in artificial intelligence and law number one number two it is in the form of the arguments and more if you are trained then you will know what the arguments are then we should even know what are good and bad arguments through this particular thing bending towards more the critical thinking you know you are able to do it and this can be seen uh, through the introduction of uh, hegelian and marxist thoughts more and more and uh, nowadays i find that dialectic logic especially being used in gaming theories especially chess 
chess moves hockey moves basketball if you know little bit about sports uh, sports and then you are able to understand how to go ahead and especially when you are making um the de- de- decisions while <clears throat> you know using those game movements and trying to understand them so here we can see the importance of games and semantics and criticisms as a part of the critical theory also critical thinkings i'm sorry and then comes mathematical logic definitely yes this was started by frege and russell moore and goddard now trust me when i picked up the book written by frege you know i did not understand at all it was such a interesting thing because it is hand written by frege and uh, in a sleeping way i should say and russell the way he had discussed it now i was just wondering they mathematicians and mathematicians turning out to be logicians and later on the moment i came over to goddard's theory uh, especially theorems i should say in computational sciences i was just wondering i should have been a student of mathematics rather than uh, you know something else however i enjoyed reading these stuffs also so here we will see that mathematical logic has been divided into two portions number one uh, practical aspect of it and the theoretical part now application of um, i mean if i look at the practical part <coughs> then i will see that the application of formal logic to mathematics and mathematical reasoning and we will see uh, i mean i'm not going to enter into depth of it however i know it is very important and the entire advanced symbolic logic falls into this category and when i was introduced to it i was just looking oh god so much of it that i have to learn and then comes the application of mathematical techniques to the representation and analysis of the formal logic and this was also done whether those mathematical tools that were present can we really represent in terms of logic or not so that is the importance of mathematical logic philosophical logic definitely yes it has to do everything about argument and formal descriptions of ordinary non specialized natural languages so that's why natural language programming nlp becomes very important to us in terms of the philosophical logic computational logic again this is my area i love it more Alan Turing you can see completely his papers if you can pick up and if you read uh, what he has to say Turing's machine that is his uh, first paper i should say and how i was introduced to the philosophy of mind kurt goddard kurt goddard's theorem is very important if you are a student of computational sciences logical programming in computers boolean logic automated theorem proofs which are present then we will be able to understand the next one is what i call it as the non classical logic now classical logic is uh, comprises of syllogistic uh, logic propositional and predicate logic now the moment i enter into non classical now you know it is a contemporary logical studies and has been developed due to the computers the development in the computational or the cognitive sciences emerged into the non classical logical uh processes of thought also it rejects uh, the theories of the classical logicians and it was introduced uh, more and more with hegel uh that's what i said phenomenology if we have i have to understand as a qualitative study or as a qualitative analysis or as a qualitative research area then i'm supposed to inter- get to introduce to their logic in terms of hegel kant and we will see the further part of it movement from two valued system to many valued system now this is very important like from binary to multivariate that's what i would say jump to fuzzy logic and we will see later on how to carry forward of it so i think i'm going to end here and let me proceed further more with a uh, but um with more importance given to the subject of logic which i was talking about till then thanks bye